Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. My name is Scrote, and it is great to have you here as usual. So, you know, I was trying to finish off the Grey Talons, and what I didn't realize is they had two more really big squares of forces, and uh, uh, plus the other two up here, and the one down here. Um, it was just more than I could finish in one play setting, so I figured I would well, we would go ahead and do just one more battle with the Grey Talons. And, of course, with that means I went ahead and brought in two more community ships. So let me show you guys. We'll have to look at them as soon as we start battle. I hope that's okay. But th these will be the first things we bring in. I made a new fleet called the Crump Tsunami Tails. And this is consisting of two, uh, sorry, three Super Swallow Tails. These are like really fast, super nimbly, bimbly flying jets that have like just a myriad of missiles uh, on them, I believe, is what they are. We'll find out if they have anything else up their sleeve or their, their tail or wings or whatever. And uh, also a couple of these Tsunami Destroyers. These are very cool, and uh, I, I need to still retrofit these. I think they are supposed to come with like an extra uh, something, like an extra heal or an attachment. And uh, they got blockaded. I built them so close that they got blockaded. And uh, I don't think we can... I don't think we can uh, retro... If we can do it in battle, we'll give it a go in battle. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, the other thing I did real quick here, just to let you know, is we had a group... Let's see, somewhere, let me find them. The Eruption of Rapture group, here it is. So these eruptions, they actually all had little attachments as well. They just, when you first spawn in a ship, if they have any of these extra blue pin prints as part of their sub-vehicle spawning system, they won't come in. You have to actually click uh, to retrofit the ship with the same blueprint again, and that will bring them in. So I did that with this group. I just didn't have enough time to get to these uh, tsunami destroyers, so still gotta do that. But uh, like I said, we'll try and battle here. And uh, the other thing is, there's still this 145 square, so if this one happens really fast, then maybe we could do two. If not, then I'll just do this one off camera, and then, you know, we'll go ahead and start hammering on the uh, Twin Guard. I'm really looking forward to battling them. I hear they've got a lot of good stuff to look forward to. So, any hoots, without further ado, let's get bad. Let's get down to this bad boy. Let's get this thing rolling, eh? Uh, let's go ahead and start with the Crump Tsunami Tales. That's where we want to be. This is where all the good stuff happens. Check it out. I already got the formation rocking and rolling. We're coming up on the side of the enemy here. I'm, I'm really thinking we're going to get pretty good force point advantage here. Okay, so let's see. Is this what I want to do? Just like this? Bring them all in? Uh, Yeah. Let's bring them in and let's, let's take a look, shall we? And let's look at our force points. Let's see if we get at least like... Oh, see, we get 20. All right. So first off, here is the... Uh, whoa, man, this looks wild. Yes, this is the Super Swallowtail. Oh my god, that's super loud! Holy shit, man! Holy balls, it's doing a freaking loop! That is the sweetest. So yeah, this is just a really fast-flying, uh, lasery missile guy. Hang on a minute here, let me get my... Let me get my guy out of there. Uh, here we go, jump and jump and kick and squeech. Everybody come along! And then we also have, along with these, the Tsunami Destroyers. These things have missiles and cannons and lambs and a hefty amount of shielding, I do believe. Yeah, so, yeah, we need to retrofit them. You can see here they should have two attachments on the back. But look how cool these look as well. Look at this. Interface. Oh, oh, oh Jesus, we're still moving. Kind of hard to see from the shields. But uh, check that out. That's so cool, isn't it? Let's get this... Uh, kind of over the top. You can you can sort of see a, a little bit more. The shields kind of dissipate a bit. What a cool design. This along with the Super Swallowtails. Oh, mm, muy bueno. Wait a minute. Where are our Super Swallowtails? Don't they look majestic? Look at them. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have had a collision or... Or what? <laughs> oh, baby. What happened here? Oh, yeah, we, they short bust. That's like the legit term. I, I really hope that gets put into some sort of like FAQ for the game. Like, what is it called when my ships keep ramming each other? Oh, so by the way, I heard a really sweet thing. Nick, the developer, said he got uh, height calculations working for ships. So, for instance, you won't have airplanes just ramming into mountains all willy-nilly. How freaking awesome is that going to be? Like, you'll be able to, it's going to be like a component or some adjustable option for AI, I believe. Nevertheless, oh, hmm. Oh, oh my god, it goes down so smooth. Right about now, the Funk Soul Brother. You know what I'm saying? So, the Tsunami Destroyers. Look at all these lambs. What's the lamb? Is that a lamb? Is that what a lamb noise is? 
they seem to be doing pretty well so far. Let's go ahead and get the Binox out here. Let's go ahead and set our zoom level. It looks like that was a flail, maybe. You know, I did not really look. Hang on. Rain dot off equals true. Hey, where's all this rain coming from, anyways? There's only like five clouds in the sky. Alright, surely. So we still got uh, Crazy Magoo over here. He's still shooting. That is incredible. Well designed, my friend. Who made the Super Swallowtail? I do not recall. I didn't uh, store author names with everything. Every everything just became a jumble at some point when I when I was just dude, like, oh man, so many blueprints coming in. We're good now though. It's it's a uh, it's much more manageable. I finally set up a system, but yeah, there was a quite a while there where I just wasn't capturing enough data. Oh no, is this a pelican just freaking flying off into Neverland? He's like me. I you know what? Yeah, I don't want to play. I don't want to play. So what we may do then? Let's take a look at our health. The Tsunami Destroyers are doing just fine. They are doing dandy. So let's go ahead and bring in some eruptions. And uh, let's see these bad boys in action. So let me go show you what the retrofitted eruption looks like. These things shoot a lot of missiles, by the way, and a nice hefty amount of ammo as well. Let's see if their uh, missiles connect. Oh my god, my, my speakers are still too loud. Oh, they're just falling short. Oh, look at the super swallow tail. He's like herpity derp, derp it, derp it do. Flying around, derp it do. I don't have a care in the world like you. I'm a half swallow tail every day. It's kind of like the Gummy Bears theme song, you know? <laughs> Who remembers that sweet song? Something about dashing and dancing and prancing everywhere. Oh, yeah, the eruptions. Wow, I got sidetracked. All right, here they are. It looks like they're shooting. They definitely have a bunch of uh, laser-guided missiles. I turned my speakers down so much, now I can't even hear anything. So here's what the retrofit gave these bad boys. Check it out, they're little heel bots, and I don't actually know what this one in the middle is. Let's find out. Tiny mode, go! Oh, ammo, oh, is it like a distraction? Oh, I like it. Some enemies could have their targeting such that they might, they might try to shoot that first. But yeah, check them out. Looking really rad, man. Between the Eruptions and the Tsunami Destroyers, I believe those are both made by the same author. The Eruption and the Tsunami Destroyers. The, the same author also made the Magma, I believe. But that ship's no longer in this campaign. I have this save game problem. And it's actually happened to me twice before I tried to make this episode where I spawned in the Tsunami Destroyers and the Super Swallowtails, saved it. I then built a structure with an antenna, saved it again, and then I went into battle and saved again. And then I exited the game and reloaded and guess what? The battles were done, all my resources were lower, but none of the ships I spawned in were there, and uh, the structure was also gone. And that's happened twice in a row now. So it could be that after this battle, I don't know, like maybe something could be wrong with the save file. I really hope not. I really, really hope not. Uh, that would that would suck a nerd. Let's not even think about that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not even think about rat right now. Think about rats right now. Let's think about them. I don't know, they're kind of cute, you guys, you know, they're all black and furry. So, this is a pelican, I believe. Hang on. I've turned my speakers up too much again. So, yep, that is a pelican. We got our sweet, sweet as molasses, Super Swallowtail. Oh, actually, no, he's doing alright. This one's fully built. Pelican is taking a beating, though. We got the Tsunami Destroyers just rocking out. Look at that sweet shot. Screenshot! Gotta get it. Oh, I don't know what F10 does. I just pushed it. No, oh, I didn't want to turn the interface on. What's happening? I want Binox out. Not out. Binox in? That's the word. These are the words I'm looking for. So let's take a look at our health real quick here. How are we doing? Uh, I, I, I think they've healed up a little bit. Just a mite of a bit. Calls for a pint of lager, mate. And we've got the eruptions. Here we go. So it looks like we're getting within range of the eruptions now. My god, what are they shooting? Oh, the eruptions have lasers. That's right. Trying to get my speakers volume adjusted. It's really driving me crazy. There we go. Yeah, so these eruptions. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Yes, please. Look at that sickly screenshot. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> it's insane. Oh, I love it. Oh, I just love it. Let's get on over there. Everything is going just, you know, 
It is really like watching glass melt. It is just super duper slow. Sorry if the camera work is making you sick. There we go. Zoomed in a little bit, but... I don't know. How's the pelican even staying in the air? These are the questions that we ask ourselves. We should ask our kids these questions. I don't actually have any kids, so... That's why I'm asking you guys. Let's take a look at the health here. If I can get in on the ship, and... There we go. Okay, so we've taken out about 900 blocks. Not... Not fantastic, but not bad. So this guy... Boy, he's like really stuck between a rock and a hard place, huh? Tsunami destroyers, super swallowtails on one side. Eruptions and super swallowtails on the other side. And in fact, where is... Yeah, so we're healing up just a little bit. Let's... Where's this little 71-er? We could bring in the other eruption, but... Uh, you know, I don't want it to be too laggy. Oh, wow, where are we going? Hang on. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. He's like, oh, jeez, somebody help me. I am feeling so drunk right now. I would be, I don't know, throwing up pretty hard. Look over there. It looks like some sort of weird dyslexic skywriting going on. They're like, we're just trying to spell the word howdy. And it just came out looking like this. Like, we're trying to spell the word school. So here's the pelican. I do believe the pelican is stuck in a perpetual going to the right strafing sort of move here. I don't know what he's got going on, but let's get down here. Let's look at our tsunami destroyers a little bit more. And soak them in. Soak in the goodness. We need a good screenshot with them, you know? Let's let's see if we can get them to pose here just a, just a tiny little bit. Let's get one when the lasers are just like, pew pew! That missile's about to hit it. No! Oh. Well, there we go. There's one. Right as the missile starts exploding on the deck. That's okay. So let's take a look up here. Uh, there's the pelican. Actually, pelican is disintegrating with uh, just a solid little bunch of rockets coming right at it. I don't think they're going to have a chance to hit because it is going away. There it goes. Coming back again. Not another day. Mm, that sentence felt weird. It rolled off the lips kind of oddly. Check it out. There goes a super swallowtail. Yeah, he's, he's missing a little bit. We got something serious going on. Who spawned in? Why? Oh, here we go. Now someone's spawning it. Oh, there we are. Oh, another pelican, maybe? Yeah, I think it is. It is another pelican. Ho, ho. What do you know? Oh, no. I forgot that pelicans have this l rather large payload on the underbelly. That's the part you want to look at all the lasers. Like, hee, 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 hee. You think they kind of tickle? The pelican's like, oh. That's the right spot. Little pelican leg. It's kicking up like a dog's. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a thing, right? Pelicans have little pelican legs. And they, every pelican has two little hidden human arms. They're like little baby arms. And they keep them tucked under their, uh, their pelican zone. <laughs> that's where the little tiny baby arms come from. Mm, yeah, let's not think about that. Okay, let's think about the pelican that's in front of us right now. And he's going after the super swallowtail. Oh, no. Negative. Yeah, keep keep doing a maneuver. You know what? What do these super swallowtails fly at? Let's see if we can take a look. No. Negative. I'm trying to enter build mode on the swallowtail. It's proving really, really difficult. Uh, just got to maybe stay inside it for a second. Come on, you can do it. All right, well, I'm not going to... I'm not going to freak you guys out. The real problem here is, though, that this is happening. The pelican is doing his classic, I'm out of here, fools. Yeah, he's, man, he's out of here. Where is he going? Freak you, Han Solo. So we do have uh, some of our ships going after him. The Super Swallowtails. Oh, you know what? We'll do this. Let's bring him out of play, okay? This is our way to uh, salvage the situation from having our swallowtails follow this guy and then break off from the fleet. This is my solution. There's no un on that. There's no solution. It's a solution. It's kind of like a slush to drink, you know? It's just a different form of a solution. Okay, so let's see. Is he coming back around now? Yeah, I do believe he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So let's look around. What I do see are bits and pieces of swallowtails. Oh, that was one despawning. All right. So we do have these Tsunami Destroyers now rocking out quite a bit of their missiles. Uh, what, let's go look at this missile bay. Oh, it is lagging. Somebody else got spawned in, I think. Yeah, we got two enemies now. 
Oh no, is that a two can? Uh oh. Rut row. Let's uh let's let's do this real quick. Let's put the interface on. Or er, it was already on. Oh my god. So let me just take my pants off. And then what we'll do is let us see if we could bring in do we have Oh the big silve. Oh Oh wait a minute, look, why did our force points get split? We only have eleven right now. <gasps> oh no, we're past the rest of the fleet. Come on, you grippers. Get on over here. Oh, screw it. Let's just... Let's just bring them all. Okay. Uh, that's going to take a little bit, but maybe we can get some of our force points back. Oh, that is a bummer. That's so funny. Our whole fleet moved forward. Took everybody out of range. So here they come, though. They're flying back, which is, which is good. So it should give us a force point advantage again. Ah, which will make one of their ships disappear, which just happened. Yeah, we're back up to 20 force points. Okay. Whew, man. I was kind of freaking out for a minute there. I didn't know what was going on. So let's see here. How do the Tsunami Destroyers do up against the Toucan in a, uh, you know, head-on-head -head collision here? Let's follow them and find out. Man, the Toucan, I'm going to be honest, he is unleashing a ton. Just a barrage. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. But the Tsunami Destroyers... They're also... I'm seeing a lot of lines coming out of their ships with a lot of missiles to boot. Let's get a, a look at the Toucan here. So we've taken off about 300 blocks. My goodness. This is crazy. This is another good screenshot. One moment. Here we go. Okay. So where... Remember, we had those eruptions. Where are they? Oh, did they despawn? They sure did. I will be a... Crimped, crumped monkey's unk. Ooh, we could bring in some Ursa Miners. Ooh. Ho, ho, let's do it. Three Ursa Miners, please. That's what I'm ordering on the menu tonight. Oh, please, do they have AI? Oh, here we go, okay. Whew, I got a little worried for a minute there. I guess it was just loading in. I had, I had to give it just a little bit there. To think, you know? It's always about the thinking. So probably not the best idea to fly directly over the Tsunami Destroyers. That is something... I wouldn't advise it. Golly. Oh, okay, yeah, look, our uh, our Ursa Miners. Oh, yeah. Got their little lasers going. Beep, beep. That's excellent. That was actually a really good time to bring those guys in. Look at that. The uh, Toucan is blowing up. We have so much going on on the screen. I have dreams sometimes of this running at, like, you know, even 30 FPS would just be so silky smooth right now it would be like the Zohan's hair you know that's a silky smooth nobody messes with the Zohan all right okay so let, let's let's go look at the toucan's health here because it was 300 blocks last time oh yeah there we go we've taken off about a thousand so we are definitely whittling them down let's get the interface on and uh, we do have one ship left to fight after the toucan we do have one once we defeat the Toucan, I imagine uh, we'll get a pretty good FPS boost there. Oh, did we already take his engines out? Are you kidding me? Pants out off equals true. Wow, we did. Wow, and we cut the back of his wings off. Like, just sheared him off. Totally just sheared him off. Okay, so let's look. Look at all the purple. Oh my gosh. Who is... Sh oh, yeah, I forgot the Ursa Miners also shoot. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, boy. Let's let's zoom out a little bit because what is happening right now? Oh, I would not want to be the Toucan. I would, however, want to be on one of the Ursa Miners. That'd be kind of cool. Look how sweet they look. We've had a, cool, uh, a few other cool designs that look similar to the Ursa Miner. We'll get to them at some point, more than likely during the Twin Guard is when we'll get to it. And there are a lot of new ships in the Twin Guard. Remember, the last big patch for the game was like a large content patch. Had a lot of great new ships added to all the factions and to... Uh, oh no, what are you doing, everybody? No! Oh, crap, my pants. Oh. oh, but no, but the Ursa Miners are doing it. Oh, sweet Ursa Miners. Having sweet Ursa Minery sex in the air. Look at him. Oh, getting laid. Getting laid. And he's like, I'm done with you. Into the mountain winch. <laughs> oh, my God. No, are you really pushing him into the mountain? 
You son of a gun. What did you do? No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, noes. Oh, the things we do to ourselves. Are you shooting our own tsunami destroyer? You are. What a great day to be one of the forces of Scrote. Oh my god, he's wrecking his buddy. <laughs> Did something just happen? Was there like a switch that the AI toggled that was like, Alright, Scrote's forces, turn on Scrote. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was a toggle and it got toggled. Anyways, who can resist a, a toggle? It's like those, uh... What are those guys in the fifth element, you know, when the Zorg Industries give them those new weapons and they have the little red toggle on the bottom? He's like, no one can resist a red toggle. That'd be the first thing you wonder about. All right, so the toucan is down in the water, and uh, the Tsunami Destroyer... Guys, what are we doing? Oh, party time. Party time! Right here. Right in that little wedge. A bunch of people just jamming. All right, party over. Let's get back to business here, gentlemen and gentle folk. And gentle ladies, if there are any. So gentle. Oh. It's like wearing one of those onesie, uh, what are they called? Not, not called a woogie, a, a snuggie. What are those stupid things that they see? It's, just, it's like you see them on TV. It's like, oh, are you cold? Are you feeling really cold? You want something super warm? Put on this super snuggie. A snuggie, that's it. See, I just had to say, uh, sound like an idiot to remember it. That's all. Toucan is disintegrating. All right, that's it. That's it. I think we do have one more ship. All right, interface on. There it is. We got this one ship over here. So, let's take a look at the destruction we've wrecked against ourselves. We had two of our super swallowtails, you know, rock out. And uh, then, of course, okay, we had our enemy spawn. And it looks like it could be a kite fighter or a pelican. That's what it's looking like. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, our Ursa Miners. Oh, boy, did they... What a doozy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a doozy. What are you doing down here? Come on, yeah, get your balloons out. You're looking all crazy right now. You need some more balloons. What she needs is just a little bit of lovin'. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of a snook for the Ursa Minor tonight. Do 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 do. Just a little bit. So here we go. This is definitely a pelican. Is this the third pelican we fought in this battle? Interface. Where's the key? Off. There it is. So there goes. Look at this. One of our Ursa Miners looking super majestic doing a flyby. Meow. Flyby complete. Form of awesome flyby. We got the tsunami destroyers. Oh, I thought we hit three for a minute there. Look at these missiles. Oh, that's what a beautiful formation. It is beautiful. What do we have over here? Oh, it's one of our Ursa Miners way out there. Oh, crap. Are we going to have one of those long range battles with the uh, Ursa Miners now? Oh, no. Well, let's see if our options, if we'll have any options to pull them out. Oh, here we go. The big sylv. Yes, bring in the big sylv. Where are you at, dog? Big, big sylv. Oh, look at that. Do y'all see what I see on the horizon? The silver surfer. He hath landed, ladies and gentlemen. That's him over there. Big sylv activate. Yeah, form of a continuous beam laser. Now, I will say, uh, it, I think it's actually on the other one. The the big silver sausage. The one I haven't renamed yet. I actually added um, two Q switches to one of the laser arrays. It looks like each of the, the Big Silver Sausages has two different sets of laser arrays, so I converted one to shoot Pulse Laser and Continuous Beam. And uh, it looks really rad, but of course I brought the wrong one in, naturally. Either that or the change didn't save. Because boy, my, my saves have really been messing up. It's really weird. Okay, good. The, so the Pelican made a turn. I did hear from, uh, I think, the author of the Pelican, or somebody made a modification to it. Uh, for whenever 1.6 comes out, so I think it, it should have Mo Beta turning. It's either the Pelican or something else, I forget, maybe the Iron Butterfly or the Dragonfly or the, the Guchasaurus. We haven't encountered that one yet, that's a real special one. Comes out at night? It's, it's only when it's one of the darkest nights of, of the year. Oh, so also, I was informed. Oh, no, 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 what are you doing? Why are you so close? Oh my god, he is. Oh. Yep, he's going to be taking a crap. Big old fat crap. It's going to be coming right on down here into his big old fat lap. Oh, it's... Oh! Did it hit him or did it just bounce off? Like a little tiny bunny rabbit just prancing through a little bunny forest. Like a little bunny foo-foo. You know, little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest. Little bunny foo-foo 
put you in a pot of stew and then eat you? I don't actually think that's how the end of it goes. Also, where's the Ursa Minor going? I'm not quite sure. Hang on a tick. I see something small down here. What is this? Ah. Looks like somebody lost a bunch of ammo and part of their cannon system. Probably the Pelican. Oh, the Pelican has totally lost his wing. Oh, that has got to hurt. Oh, yeah, you're going down. Where is everybody? Uh, here are the Tsunami Destroyers doing their thing. That's great. There's the Pelican. Let's see, is that Big Silv? Big Silv over there. Ursa Minor over there. There's another Ursa Minor in there. I think there's one. Oh, it took back off. Yeah, okay, we're all airborne. We are all airborne. This is great. So maybe we're going to end the episode with maybe not as much destruction as we initially had there. Gotta heal up the Swallowtails, but no big deal. Yeah, Ursa Miners are just about all healed up, and there we go. Let's check. Let's make sure that that was actually the last enemy for this square, was it? I, I think it was. Did we get the pop-up? Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the pop it up. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a that was a good fight. I really like the Crump Tsunami Tails. The Super Swallowtail and the Tsunami Destroyer are both really awesome. Uh, let's take a look real quick here so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that needed a retrofit to get all the parts in there. So let's take a look. Yeah, look how sweet that looks. Isn't that cool? Alright, so with these guys spawned in, we will click on it. Retrofit. We will find the Tsunami Destroyer. Uh, hang on. I can't click on them because there's another selection box underneath it. That can be a doozy to deal with if you don't if you don't realize what's going on. It just about happened again, jeez. So here we go, we'll get this guy retrofitted. And we'll do the same to this one. Let me select it, please. No? No? Oh, sometimes, so difficult. Yeah, you can see him spawning in back there, super neat. Uh, I just need to hurry up and do it before they crash into each other and burn. Where is it? Uh, it's over here somewhere. One moment. There it is. Yay. Do it. Here we go. So here you go. You can see the items loading in right here. Pretty awesome. So now these will be part of the correct blueprint. And they will spawn in and out with the ships. So cool. Yeah, we, all right. We got them spawned in. I'm feeling, feeling better about that now. Wanted to make sure we got that done. At least before the end of the episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's where we're going to stop, especially with the Great Talons. I am going to finish up this square and this square. Uh, like I said, there were there were three other ones I, I went to battle with earlier. I wasn't expecting to spend like an extra hour and a half fighting. I thought we were a little bit closer than we were. But hey, now we are looking good. So I'll finish them up, and next episode we will be starting on the Twin Guard. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. It's been great having you here as usual. I, I always enjoy it. And if you have any comments or suggestions, just feel free to let me know. Drop them in the video. And uh, until next time, I uh, hope you all have an absolutely great one. Take it easy. Stay classy.